Band and side step is one of my favorite exercises. So we'll start with the band directly above our knees on our thigh. Separate your feet parallel hip width apart and make sure that your knees line up in the same direction as your toes. From here, come down to about a quarter squat, so not a deep squat, just a quarter squat. Keep your core engaged, chest upright. You can be in a prayer position because you're going to be praying for this to be over. You can have your hands on your hips. It doesn't really matter. All right, from here, we're going to step out to the side just a couple inches, keeping your knees in line with your toes, and then step your opposite foot in a couple inches so that you're back to where you started with your feet and knees parallel, hip width apart. Step out, step in, squeeze your glutes, keep your core engaged. Now, you'll see this performed with a few errors oftentimes. One error that you'll often see is a big step out and a big step in so that your feet and knees are closer together than your hips. That makes you lose the tension of the band. We want our feet and knees at their closest point to be hip width apart, so you still have to maintain that pressure you're pushing out against the band at all times. There's no rest for your glutes on this. Another thing that you might see performed incorrectly is when you step out, your knees cave in. We want to use the muscles on the side of our glutes to keep our knees pressing out against that band and in line with our toes. You may also see uh, toes turned out, toes turned in, we want to point it straight forward. And then one other thing that you might see is this, and this is very tempting because it helps us to get out of that quarter squat, is bobbing up and down. Once you come down to that quarter squat, hold it, perform the exercise without lifting up and down. So if you were to take a video of just my waist up, you wouldn't be able to tell how much I'm torturing the lower half of my body here. 